<laughs> oh, what the heck is that? Uh, oh. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam NG Drive and welcome back to another episode of Which Automation Car Mod Can Jump the Farthest on the Car Jump Arena. This is episode 5 now, uh, I believe. You guys are still enjoying the heck out of the series and so am I. Uh, so we're going to do some more. If you're new to the channel though, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I post stuff like this all the time and I think, I think you'll enjoy it here. So go ahead, just do it. Anyway, we got a good lineup of cars, some fast, some silly, and some just strange. Uh, just, you know how it is, guys, so let's get right into the mods. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so right off the bat, we got a big boy. This is the Naden NT85, I believe, and this is a big old honker, a chonker of a truck. Let's see how fast it can go down the hill. Honestly, it gets up and goes, man, for a semi-truck. I'd say that's pretty pretty powerful. We got some power uh, under this big lad, and we're already up to 140 miles an hour. 43? That should get us pretty dang far flat as a board, nearly to the 300 mark, and we're gonna land on all tires, but I don't know how long we're gonna stay that way. There we go. We're gonna flip our way outside the pool. Oh, man. Oh, 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 all the way down to the podium, and the tire's just gonna come and run us straight in the face here, but wow. We actually went pretty dang far. Let's do that again. We almost we almost hit the top of the, uh, the starting line there because we're so freaking tall, but uh, yeah, this thing absolutely shreds, man. This is a lot faster uh, than you would think. That is for sure. There we go, 143 again, perfect jump. Absolutely perfect, and I, oh, we're so close to that 300 mark. Oh God, it's hard to get under control though at the speeds, that's for sure. There we go, right into the pool. Beautiful, just a, just a little, a little scuff on the side there, but I don't think it's gonna be too big of a problem. <laughs> It'll buff right out, I'm sure. All right, next up, I think you guys can tell what this is. This is a replica of an Audi R8, and from the back, it looks strikingly uh, pretty realistic. Now, uh, on the side as well, the front looks a little strange to me. I feel like it's a little too rounded off at the front, uh, but beso besides that, it's easily recognizable as an R8, and since it's an R8, that means it's gonna be very, very fast. Uh, so let's see how far we can go, how fast we can go as well, up already up to 170 miles an hour. That's gonna get us pretty far on the car jumper and it easily past the 300 and the 400, nearly to 450. Land right on our behind there, kind of smushing us down a little bit. And again, we're gonna tumble out of the pool, uh, dip our toes in, I guess. And <laughs> you can actually see the inside of this thing. There's nothing there, of course, because uh, automation cars don't have uh, interiors, really, but it's it's still something there. The back of this car is just absolutely destroyed. <laughs> oh, no, but there we go. A solid run uh, from the Audi R8, the farthest of the day. I mean, we've only done two, but still, and it only took completely destroying it to get there. <laughs> All right, next up, we got the Chevrolet. Uh, I guess that's a, a Corvette. Uh, anyway, the Chevrolet SRX1. Uh, I don't know if this is a real car or not. It looks and sounds like it would be a real car. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, this thing sounds mean. Hold on. Oh, baby, that sounds good. That sounds good. It's fast as well. Oh my goodness, already up to 160, 70 miles an hour, 180. 190, I think, is what we topped out there. That's gonna get us well past the 400 mark, nearly to the 500 mark. And we're still in one piece for the most part. We did lose the spoiler, unfortunately. We're gonna park our ourselves very nicely right in the pool. Not completely submerged, but pretty close. Let's try that again, though. I wanna see if I can get a little bit more speed out of this thing. I feel like it has a little bit more to give. Let's actually not do that, though. We already lost the front splitter. That's not good. So there we go, a nice straight line here. We want to go as straight as possible to get maximum speed out of this thing. 170, there we go. 192, I think is what we got that time. There we go. Oh, so close. So close, man. You know, 
I try this with a uh, wow. We're gonna tumble way into the deep end on that one. Uh, I I try this with most car most cars that have big old wings on them, uh, just because I like to compare the results here. So let's go ahead and just take this off like a band aid. There we go, <laughs> and see if this is gonna affect our speed for one, uh, and the distance we can actually get this thing soaring. So there we go. It doesn't seem to be slowing us down anymore. Uh huh. 180, 190. Actually, you know what? It kind of, no, I think it was actually about around the same. But yes, we're not going to go nearly as far uh, without the wing. So that kind of proves right there. The wing does have its uses. If you want to fly farther when jumping off a god knows how many feet uh, high in the air jump, I mean, you want to keep the wing on, man, for maximum distance. Next up, we got a Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye. That is a mouthful, but it says this is the Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye white body. The car has been tuned to be excellent on the drag strip, uh, but it's also very, very suitable on the racetrack. Okay, so we get a, uh, it's a master of all on this one, I guess. And this is another real car, so that's two real cars uh, in a row. Something looks a little off on the back end here. How's the front of this thing look? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's perfect, man. That's a perfect recreation. I think uh, the back right here needs to be a little fatter. I think that's the only thing that's kind of, I don't know, set me off there. But besides that, this is an absolutely perfect replica. So let's see how it does on the car jump arena. It's made for the drag strip, so we should get some pretty big speed here uh, by my math. There we go. And yes, we are 180 miles an hour, and we are going to absolutely soar through the air. Well past the 400, 450, 470, uh, I believe is where we actually landed there and straight into the pool, upside down. <laughs> we kind of skipped on the pool there. Uh, that was beautiful. But yeah, this thing held up pretty well. Just a big American brick uh, is what this thing is. I would expect uh, no less from the Hellcat. We did, uh, did kind of bend one of the tires the wrong way a little bit but besides that i think uh, i think this thing's gonna be okay get a big old fishing rod fish this thing out and we'll do it again on sunday all right so we got another dodge actually i do not know if this one is real it doesn't look like it would be real but it's called the dodge srt tom tomhawk tomhawk is that supposed to be tomhawk i don't know anyway the tomhawk x let's check it out whoa <laughs> Whoa, okay. Look at all that carbon fiber on the top there. This looks like a Ferrari, man. Again, we can see on the inside. Look at the special tires and everything. Okay, no wing, though. Uh, interesting enough. This this thing looks like it would have a wing, but it does not. Anyway, this is the SRT Tomhawk. Uh, let's see how fast it can go. We're already up to 150 miles an hour. There we go. Actually, not as fast as some of the other ones we've tried today. And we're going to go for a ride here at a front flip past the 300, sending us tumbling end over end into the sand. More tumbles. There we go. And slam dunk into the pool. Beautiful. <laughs> There's the Tomahawk, guys. Uh, I guess it's a mid-engine car from Dodge. Huh. Have we seen that before? I don't, I don't think we have, but there it is. And uh, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Maybe this is something we're going to see in the future uh, to compete against the uh, the Corvette C9. I don't know, but uh, that, there it is. It's pretty cool. We got no windshield, but we have some windshield wipers. That's uh, effective, I must say. <laughs> Oh, what the heck is that? Uh, huh. So, uh, I can't actually say the name of this particular vehicle, uh, because I will get demonetized, but just know it, it's got some pretty choice words. Uh, very bold choice to name your car. Uh, this has... <laughs> <laughs> quite possibly the biggest wing and quite possibly you will know this is the biggest engine I've ever seen uh, in BMG Drive. Just from looking at this thing, I think we might need a special episode for this thing. But for now, we're going to take the car that shall not be named <laughs> down the hill here. And this thing wants to wheelie so hard and it's fast. It's fast, guys. <laughs> 170, yes. We're flying. This thing has literal airplane wings on it. Oh, no. Oh, there they go, though. There it goes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that engine a fake? What was this? What the heck is this? Is this just a prop? I, I think it is just a prop. That is strange. So the engine's in the back somewhere. 
Uh, but we got this big fake engine in the <laughs> on top of the car, basically. Uh, very odd, I must say. Fly! Fly! Go, go, go! Yes! Past the 450 again. And we immediately spin out. Can we get it into the pool, though? Yes, we can. Yes, we can indeed. Okay, you know I gotta try this thing without this massive, massive wing on it. I imagine it's probably not gonna go as far. Yeah, definitely not gonna go as far. Uh, because I think that thing got us halfway to where we were going, to be completely honest. You can see it just lifting us up. Uh, through the air, but let's see how fast we, or how far we can go without it. It was also stabilizing me quite a bit. It's a little bit harder to control now, but uh, we're still gonna get up there. 300, almost to the 400, but yeah, not nearly as far. Almost perfect landing though. We just landed a front flip, and we're gonna tumble way into the deep end again. Oh my god! Actually, bounce out of it, uh, but slowly or make our way back into the pool there, and we just broke that prop. On top, I don't know what I don't know what to believe anymore. There's the actual engine right there, but uh, maybe it just has two engines. I don't know what to believe. All right, so we got uh, another real car here, another replica. This is the 2020 Supra. Uh, I love these things, man. I think they just look so cool. Uh, I would get one. I definitely would and make videos for the channel, but unfortunately, my next car purchase is going to be something more family-oriented, uh, but I can still make videos on it if you guys want. I'll get it fairly soon, uh, but yeah, if I didn't have to get a family-oriented car, I'd definitely get a Supra, and we're going to bounce. Quite a bit land right on our nose there. Uh, and skid all the way to the pool, but the, the the super held up pretty dang good, not gonna lie. I didn't actually see where we landed. Let's do that one more time here. And this seems to be a pretty accurate uh, recreation as well, especially from the back. Uh, you can instantly tell that that is uh, a Supra. Just because, not just because it says the name though. <laughs> you can just tell from the shape. Anyway, here we go. Past the 200, 300, almost to the 350. 50, 340, I believe. That's what we landed on nose first, and that's just gonna send us absolutely tumbling through the sand, through the air, and over the pool, actually. <laughs> and right into a pool. Poor, poor Supra. Okay, so I've saved the best for last. This is the Peel Trim 9. Uh, <laughs> the banana car, I guess. <laughs> Weeaboo Car Club, huh? Interesting. Very, very uh, interesting. Why does it have a grill on the back, like a Bugatti grill, horseshoe grill on the back? I don't know, but let's see how fast this thing goes. The banana car. Oh, my goodness. What the hell is this thing? It's pretty quick. 100 miles an hour. I didn't think it was going to go that fast, but here we are. Just, <laughs> I don't even think we're going to break the, the, the hill here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bad bounce, unfortunately. <laughs> yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That is a bummer. Whoa, he landed on all four tires. Wait, never mind. Maybe, maybe. Come on, keep going, buddy. Yay, there we go. We landed on all four tires somehow. Uh, but we need to get this in the pool, though. So let's go ahead and yoink this thing. There we go. Into the pool. No, we're going to miss. Oh, no. Grab it, grab it, grab it. There we go. <laughs> the bananas in the pool, everybody. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Which Automation Car Can Jump the Farthest on the Car Jump Arena. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, but with that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.